Today I have some tips and tricks to help you if you're currently dealing with perinatal mood anxiety depressive disorder or PMAD. First tip is seek help. If you are suffering from perinatal mood anxiety or depressive disorder to include anxiety, depression, OCD, or psychosis, you want to seek professional help. They can help give you a treatment plan that works for you. Sometimes it does include medications. It could also include therapy or other cognitive behavioral health tools that could help improve your mental health. Another tip is to prioritize your self-care. A lot of times when you're having a baby, I know you forget all about yourself and it's all about the baby. And you might eat when you can, you shower when you think about it. So make sure you are taking care of yourself. Take that time out that you need. If your baby's crying and you're having a moment, set the baby in the crib and take a break. Go for a walk around your house or something. Ask a partner to help you while you're having a moment. Make sure you're finding time for yourself to include exercise finding the things that you used to do before you had your baby and continue working on those activities. Build a support system. Don't have these feelings or experience alone. Share it with your partner, share it with family, share it with friends. Always let people know what's going on with you so that they can understand you better. And that way you're not feeling as alone and you can also tell people how you're feeling. Practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques, yoga, meditation, taking a walk, clearing your headspace, those hobbies that you used to do before you became a mom, start doing those things. Anything that helps you relax, taking a bath, listening to music, writing in a journal, those kind of things that kind of center you and bring you back to yourself and help you remember who you were before you became that mom. Set realistic expectations. Those feelings that you're currently having, especially if you're seeing a therapist or a healthcare professional and you're taking medications, aren't going to go away overnight. Give yourself grace and permission to have this experience and know that it's not going to be forever, that you're doing everything you can to get better, but also be mindful that it's going to be long process sometimes and it's not going to be overnight and you will start to feel better about yourself and you will be able to have that bond with your baby that you may have been lacking in the beginning when you were going through your anxiety or depressive disorders. Celebrate your small victories. If you were able to get 10 minutes to yourself and you felt like you relaxed and rejuvenated, celebrate that. It's not a small accomplishment. You want to celebrate all your wins while you're going through this. It will help make you feel better about the process and you will start to see the changes that are occurring. A big one, get moving, exercise. If you're not someone who likes to go to the gym, find groups of moms, the stroller and walks, parks, those moms that walk in the park with their strollers, they have different groups, exercise, fitness group, you can do baby yoga, you can even do goat yoga. Just make sure you're getting yourself moving and staying active. And finally, connect with other moms. Find a support group of moms who have similar experience or diagnosis as you. That way you can share stories and you can find other methods that, that work for other moms that might help you. So increase your support system by finding moms that have similar experiences with you. Remember, your mental health is very important and you need to find ways to manage it effectively so that you can be happy and healthy and have a good relationship with your baby. Thank you for watching today's Medical Minute.